in the eerie shadows of a moonless night. A chilling silence blankens the earth. As you tune in to this spine-tingling audio series, you are transported into a realm where the boundaries between spirits and monsters blur, unleashing untold horrors upon the unexpecting world. The whispers of vengeful spirits intertwine with the gnarling growls of monstrous creatures. Their ghastly alliance awakened a primordial evil that hungers for human souls. With each haunting episode, you will be drawn deeper into the heart of this malevolent darkness. Where despite mortals struggle to survive while the line between friend and foe vanishes. Brace yourself, dear listener, for within these episodes, you will experience firsthand the dread and terror that arises when spirits and monsters join forces in a dance of pure, unadulterated horror. Oh, hey there. Are you the person I'm supposed to meet here? Great. So, why is it you called me to help with your problem? Oh, really? Well, you're in luck. Someone has reported the same thing to one of my other students. Apparently, there is a curse cult going around, as of recently. I myself has managed to pick up one of their symbols off their uh, little sheets of paper that they leave on their bodies after they kill them. Kind of looks like a circle with an X, right? Right here, circle, and an X. Right. So, you have the same problem? Ah, I see. Well, glad you came to the strongest then. But I forgot your name because you didn't really say it over the phone. So, what's your name? Pleasure to meet you. I'm Satoru Gojo, but I think you already knew that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, I am the strongest. No one can beat me. Right, about that whole cursed cult thing. Let's talk about it. So you know something about it, huh? Give me all the details. Uh-huh. Huh. Hmm. They must not know who they're messing with then. Say, you keep bringing up your friend a lot. I'm talking about this whole curse thing. Is your friend accountable for something? Or you just really like your friend? Oh, 
so you're telling me that your friend has something to do with this cult coming into the city. What's your friend's name, by the way? Right. Toby, huh? Well, is your friend Toby gifted? You know, gifted. He can use sorcery. You know, jujitsu sorcery. Any curse techniques, curse spirits? Anything of the sort? No. Hmm. Oh! Your friend must be part of the Zenin clan, then. Well, you said he doesn't have any cursed spirits or cursed energy. So, he must have a heavenly restricted body. Just like the Zenin clan. Mm, no, he doesn't. Okay, so a normal human who doesn't know how to use sorcery, nor even a heavenly restricted body... Hmm. Say, I'm not really supposed to be doing this. But, if you bring your friend over to me, I can teach him a few things. Yeah, why not? I've been looking for more students to teach anyway. And plus, some of my students are kind of getting old. And by old, I mean they're getting boring. So, you bring your friend Toby to me, and I'll teach him everything he needs. Why, I mean by jujitsu sorcery. I can teach him the ropes. Oh. Okay. Well, in that case... Definitely bring your friend Toby to me, and then I'll be asking a few questions about his other friend that's a part of this whole cult thing. Afterwards, we can deal with his friend and whoever's running the cult. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, here is the plan. We go get your friend Toby, introduce myself to him, talk about all sorts of jujitsu sorcery and curses and all what he needs, I teach him a few tricks, and then I'm gonna have him make a team. Yes, a team. So, after I'm done talking to him, I'm gonna have him go talk to a few of my students, and I feel like he'll make a great team with them. I mean, after all, one of them's my disciple. After I'm long gone, not saying that's going to happen, but after I am, my disciple Yuji Ichidori should be taking over. For what I was doing, at least. Or even one of my other disciples, Yuta. They both have... Very strong, strong energy, and also are just strong by themselves. But both of them are different, in a way. In a way that makes them special. But right now, my other disciple, Yuta, is in Brazil. He's training. But I don't think we're going to need him for quite a while. Yuji, on the other hand, is here. Mm-hmm. So, let me set this up in my calendar. Okay. Let's see. It's time to make a team. And that should take about a week or two. I only say a week or two because, well... You gotta do some basic training afterwards. Mm-hmm. 
So I'm going to have my students train your friend Toby. And then afterwards, Toby's going to be a certified jujitsu sorcerer. We need him more anyway. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You, we should probably do that. Here. Here's my phone. Put your number in it. And I'll just be taking that back. Okay. Glad to have your f phone number. So, I guess we're considered, um, hmm, work partners, uh, acquaintances, what do you like to be called, huh? Just someone you know. That works for me. With me? Well, you can either call me the strongest or Gojo Sensei. Though I prefer the strongest there is. So. Okay, you could just call me Gojo Sensei then. All right. Say, what time is it? Hmm. You know what? I have some free time. Would you like to take me back to your place? So I can meet your friend. Perfect. I'll follow you. You lead the way. If they're serious, serious about, about this, this whole thing, thing then maybe, maybe I should, should get more serious about it too. After all, I have been sensing a lot of cursed energy. I'll be on high alert now.